Hey guys, Brandon with Whiskey River Weekly. So we just got a shipment and I figured I'd open it up on this weekly uh, video and uh, show you what we get. What's gonna be hitting the site. Um, when you see this, probably gonna have uh, some of this on the website at that time. So this first thing's got some flying boxes here. Um, let's see if we got that. Yeah. Curved flying foxes. It's been a while since we've had um, straight flying foxes in. We've got it running low on these, so these are nice to have back in stock. Not, not a lot of flying foxes in, but we get what we can take. We take what we can get. Here's the straight. Here's the straight handled fox. So, a uh, cool thing about the straight handled fox is this can be cut down to whatever length that you want if you're a thrower. It works great um, as a camp hatchet, long, because you can get two hands on this. And uh, yeah, so I wanted to actually show you. I grabbed a camp carver earlier. One thing that a lot of people do not know is that the camp carver, and this is not the camp carver. Be right back. This is the camp carver. Uh, what a lot of people don't know is that the camp carver comes on the same handle as the flying fox. The only difference is the camp carver is the premium version and the flying fox is the standard version. So, here we go. Check it out. Same handle. 21-ish. You know, they, uh, they marketed it as a 22, but after it's trimmed down, it's really close to 21. So these are the similarities, right? So uh, I wouldn't say that this is like the premium version of the Fox, but their weights are similar, their profiles are similar. They both have hardened poles and they both come on the same handles. So the 16 inch Camp Carver has the same handle as the 16 inch Flying Fox, except uh, Flying Fox is the standard handle and the uh, Camp Carver has the premium, just like with the long stuff, so. Anyway, um, we got some fire tools in. We're gonna be probably uh, in the next few months starting to carry more wildland fire tools and council tool fire stuff. Um, so stay tuned for that. That's pretty cool. Uh, what else do I got? What else do we got? Uh, this looks like a whole skid of flying foxes. The other ones are still banded, so I don't know if I'm able to get into that. Let's see. Yeah, we're gonna have to. I'm gonna have to get my cutter out of the van for that. But anyway, um, the I'll show you guys what we've got, kind of in store for you. is right here bottle opener these are forged by uh james fleming of wasteline forge and uh we're gonna be offering these on the site here in the next couple weeks so stay tuned for those sign up for the newsletter newsletter subscribers like always get first dibs on new stuff whether it's new inventory or it is actually like new products on our site. So, um, our files are, uh, getting down there. Um, they, we still have a handful left, I don't know, a couple hundred, um, left in stock. And, uh, I hope you guys have been getting out into the woods and, uh, sharpening some tools with them and taking them in your backpack. Uh, I know here in northern Wisconsin, the weather's been super, super nice. So, um, yeah, um, 
we've got a bunch of tree removal that we're doing at the house over the next couple weekends. So um, I'll probably be sharing some pictures and videos of that. Um, what else is new? We bought a skid loader. That's pretty exciting. You can check out our Instagram for that. Uh, it's a 242B3 Caterpillar. It's not, uh, not a new machine. Definitely used. Um, it's rusty. It's got high hours, but um, it was used for snow removal by a landscaping company. So it seems to be pretty, um, had a pretty easy life, uh, even though the hours are high. So anyway, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of what I got for a weekly update. So stay tuned for some flying foxes to hit the site. And then also um, we've got this pallet here. Um, these two pallets right here are full of council tool replacement handles. And I want to specify, and I, you will hear me repeat this over and over again, council tool replacement handles fit all axes. Council tool doesn't make special eyes. So a council tool boys ax replacement handle is gonna fit most boys axes. And I know that's on us to educate and um, put in the descriptions, the eye dimensions and such. So you're gonna be seeing a bunch more of that as you, um, over the next couple of weeks as we get these sorted and such, but we're gonna be carrying more and more of their replacement handles. Um, they have been getting their supply issues under control, uh, with handles and, uh, we offered to help them distribute them and, uh, offer them to customers of, uh, across the internet. Um, not just ours that are looking for handles. So, um, yeah. So if you need a factory council tool replacement handle, or you are happy with, uh, a replacement handle that's got a thin coat of wax on it and uh you know it's gonna work for your axe then hit us up stay tuned to the website we're gonna be filling up that council tool replacement handle section the one thing about council tools replacement handles is their standard stuff doesn't have uh any laser engraving on it which is pretty cool so again it's just a regular handle it's got a little sticker on it peel that off and you never know it's a council tool replacement handle their premium stuff, however, does say council tool on the handle. Um, I can show you here uh, on this camp carver that I just had out for you. If you can see that. So, um, but it's not that deep. You probably could sand it off if you wanted, but yeah, as far as their premium stuff, you're gonna be looking at, um, you're gonna be looking at um, it having laser engraving on it, so. Anyway, um, hope you guys all have a safe weekend, uh, and I hope you're enjoying being outside. It's the perfect time of the year to be out in the woods, so get out in the woods, go chop some trees, help your neighbor with some yard work, um, yeah, all that. So, be good, stay sharp, and uh, we'll talk soon.